Hello guys, this is Meta, and this is the third part of the tutorial on how to make a platform game in XNA. And on the last part, we have created the player class using the health and velocity. And in this class, we will implement this class on the game. Okay, so to do that, go back to the primary class and up here add a variable player and make it player1 or something just keep it player for simplicity then on the load content we'll be adding the we'll be create be initializing the player so player equals new player the texture will be content.load texture2d as it's a 2D texture and the asset name will be player and the position will be 300 by 300 and in 2D the position starts from 0 0 so 0 X 0 Y equals left corner and the width and height of the screen equals the right bottom corner okay so 300 300 is somewhere in the middle okay so let's import our player texture you can find this image on the first tutorial under the description below so you can just go to the place where you have the image and just drag and drop it onto the content and wait for a while and change the asset name to player P capital the asset name is what ZNA knows about the image And on the update, write player dot update game time. And on the draw, we will first of all have to initialize the sprite batch. To do that, use sprite batch dot begin. And we have to end the sprite batch as well. So, uh, use sprite batch dot end and in the middle draw the player or the sprite using the sprite batch so now just compile it and you will see the player in the screen see simple as that now if for example Let's just do one thing, okay? We set the velocity of the X position, which is the uh, which is the vertical vertical position, B two, okay? That's right. Okay, B two. Now, if you run it, you'll see the player moving right. in 2 speed okay in speed of 2 meter kilometer pixel meter I don't know so yeah now let me show you how to detect input in XNA it's very simple to do that you will just write keyboard keyboard state resolve it state equals keyboard dot get state now you can just do if state dot is key down it this this occurs when keyboard is being pressed okay 
and which key is being pressed left okay so if left key is being pressed we want the velocity of this player to be minus 2 mm. sorry I forgot to specify the X and if keys right dot right has been pressed then we want the velocity of x b 2 okay now if you run it and press left right you you can move the character just like you would do in platform however if you press right the character will be moving automatically okay to fix this bug you just want to reset the velocity to of x to back to zero okay the reason why I did this because as you have saw on the video we can't do like that okay we can't make the character automatically moves okay in a particular direction so now run it and you can move left right and you will see that character is not moving automatically so thanks for watching guys